Alright, hey guys, what's up? It's iPod Touch Helping here again, and in this video, I've got an important video for everybody, including iPad users and iPhone and iPod Touch users. I'm going to be showing you guys how to back up your uh, blobs, your SH, SHSH blobs or files, depends what you guys want to call it, but uh, this is really important, important for the new Spirit Jailbreak, which is going to come out hopefully very soon, which most of you guys know about. So soon, Apple will be actually forcing people to update their iPods or iPhone when they do restore. So when you click restore, you're not going to be able to hold shift and click restore and update or downgrade to any firmware you want. And unless you have uh, saved your SHSH files on your computer uh, already. So this is very important and everybody should do this including iPad users, iPod Touch and iPhone like I just said. doesn't matter if you're on 3GS, iPhone or whatever. It doesn't matter. You guys should want to do this. Right here we're just on my channel there. But now we're going to go over to Auto SSH and I'll quickly show you guys how you guys are going to want to get that as well. You're going to go to IHateSnow.com and you guys are going to want to click right there where it says auto sh sh-3.1.3 slash 3.2 rc2 so make sure you guys are on one of those two firmwares 3.1.3 or 3.2 3.2 is for ipad users obviously and uh, once you've downloaded that you just open it up here like so and i'm just going to click yes now it says you just have to pass through that and it, it wants you to download Java Runtime. Now if you already have it, then click yes. I do have it. And if you don't, just click no and you'll get a quick link to download it. So now, to grab your SHSH blobs automatically, uh, you're going to want to put your iPod Touch, iPhone, or iPad in DFU mode. I'm going to show you guys a really easy way how to do this. So first, I recommend you guys, or actually you have to do this fully power off your iPod Touch or iPhone or iPad, your iDevice. Just let it fully turn off here. Alright, there we go, I think. And uh, now what you're going to want to do is hold the home menu button and then as your, or sorry, yeah, just the home menu button and now plug your USB device in as you can see right there. And now as you can see it's going to be in recovery mode. Right there it says my iPod is in recovery mode. But I do have a custom little recovery mode picture, so I'm just going to minimize iTunes right now. And now grab my SHSH blobs automatically. You're going to want to click right there. So just click. Searching for recovery mode. It's found it. Now you're going to want to find somewhere to save your file. So I'm going to save my file um, just in my documents, and I'm just going to name it SHSH. I'm going to click save. So now it's going to send the ticket to Cydia. So when you open up Cydia, you will, uh, on the top, you'll see that you have saved your SHSH uh, files. And it says done. So that's pretty much all you guys have to do. And it's definitely recommended so you guys can downgrade uh, to firmware. So what I'm trying to show you guys, there's going to be a new Spirit jailbreak coming out soon. And now if you jailbreak your iPhone, iPod Touch, or anything on 3.1.3 firmware, which is going to happen, or 3.2, uh, then what you're going to have to do um, is, let's say you have a problem, you're going to have to update to 4.0 from, like when it comes out from Apple, or they're going to force you to update to a new firmware so you can't jailbreak and stuff. And that's not good. So what you guys are going to want to do is save these SHSH files on your computer so you can downgrade. And also guys, uh, once you're in recovery mode like this, what you're going to want to do is hold the power button until it goes away. Like that. And now you're going to no longer be in recovery mode. So thanks for watching, guys. This is a really important video. I hope you guys do do this uh, so you guys can not have any difficulty in the future with not being able to jailbreak because 4.0 firmware will not be able to be jailbroken right away. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.